Once you've logged into the Shearnet CFDs to place your first order, you can select Online Trading and then New Trade Order. Select the account that you wish to place your order on. Um, if you have a view selected, you can select a view. We'll explain more about views later. You put in your trading password. You select if you want to buy or sell. You put in the share code for the share you want to buy. Or if you don't know the code, you can put the name in. It'll give you a drop down list. You can just double click that to select it. You can then type in the price. Or if you're looking at the depth on the right here, um, you can select from the actual depth just by clicking on it and it automatically fills the price in for you. Put your volume in and you'll see immediately it uh, estimates the RAND value of your transaction. Um, you can select the expiry date for your order and if you want to have any comments um, you can put those in this box here. Of course the share price is displayed on the right hand side uh, with the best bid and offer, the volume for the day, the current trading status, the full market depth, how much cash you've got available and if you want to refresh this box you can hit the refresh button there. Each refresh does use a price lookup. Uh, if you have a streaming price subscription, uh, a feature that's coming soon, that box will update automatically. Once you're done, you can click Review Order. It will confirm all your order details here. And if you're happy, click Confirm Order. And you'll see very quickly the order goes into the market and shows you the status. In fact, in this case, the order has been matched instantaneously. You can then click List Orders to see more information about your order. So that you can see our order to buy 10 sassels. Um, together with the time that you placed it, the account you placed it on price you placed it at, the volume you placed and how many have actually been filled of that volume, the total value of your trade, the expiry date and that shows you the status. Uh, if you want more information you can click on the little I box and it pops up with all the details of your order, the time you entered it, the last time of a transaction on that order and all the details of your order are there. Uh, important thing to note if an order does get rejected you can just hover over the question mark box and it'll give you more details of why the order is rejected. Typically that revolves around things like you put a price in that's way out of line with where the market is right now and the order will unfortunately get rejected in that case. Um, to see your trades you can click list trades, it'll show you the trades um, for the last two days. If you want to change that you can change the drop down box. Similarly with the list order page it only shows you orders that are currently open and for today. So orders that you placed yesterday that have already traded yesterday won't show up on this list but if you want to see those you can change the drop down list and then click view and it will show those to you.